I'm on the board because I really want the best education that you can get. Largely what happened in 2014 and the repositioning of the vision for Rotorua Girls High School was allowing our Māori learners, because we had 78% Māori learners here, to succeed as Māori learners. Um, and essentially that's driven a whole shift around the mission, the vision. Do you like being on the board? I do love being on the board and I wanted to be... What needed to happen was a lot of community consultation. Uh, there were meetings put in place uh, with staff, students, um, the school community, just to get a good feel of where we needed to go. How do you find it, Vision? Your, one Your voice is what gets us to be who we are. No, I think it's good that we can all participate. It shows that everyone's included in the culture, even if you aren't Māori. Yeah, we've brought a, a consultant in, um, on various uh, things that we've been doing within, within the board. He reviewed all of the policies and uh, advised the board as to what is governance and what is management. On our core business, which is that achievement, because it's crucial. Well, there were over 300 policies, so we streamlined that to the now 25 that, that we've got. What it did lead to uh, were a set of values, which we call our tiao values, tiao kapurangi values, uh, which encompass such things as willingness, integrity, resilience and empathy. And within that, we see that as being our ultimate student or learner. Our main priority is student achievement and we're being able to focus, focus more on, on that and raising the level of achievement for all students. That meant a, a lot of um, training for the staff too. Um, staff also accepting that, um, you know, they're, they're now learners themselves. And I think one of the things that really helped us with this journey was that we had Mind Lab was brought into the school. I got to experience what it was as a learner. So there I am in class looking at a girl squirming and I'm thinking, gee, what on earth is going on? And here I am in my own class squirming and wishing I could be somewhere else. So it caused a better level of connectedness in me. What's becoming more and more evident for the board is the extension of staff, not only in their personal upskill, but in the way in which they practice and how that's having the ripple, ripple effect across the staff. It wasn't just about the students and the way that we teach, but it was actually about us as teachers, you know, really inquiring into our own practice to look at ways which we could be more culturally responsive for our students. From a board's perspective on how we view uh, parent engagement, we see that there is far more engagement of parents that now attend student interviews. Uh, through that you're able to also exemplify the graduate profile. And what's going to fuel that passion for your excellence endorsement this year? And, a, and an extension of that would actually be the online learning spaces now that have become part of our year nine, year ten programs with our future focused learning environments. But we see that as a powerful means of engagement with parents. On one of our projects, the parents, the kids go home and talk about it and the parents ring up and go, oh, so I work at such and such, we can get our HR person to come in and talk about that. And we're like, perfect. It's about interacting with real world problems, grappling with them and trying to come up with ways that they can see themselves inside the, you know, what's going on out in the world and what their place is there as well. It is a holistic approach and we've absolutely saturated our school in Manawahine experiences and we've also um, woven the altruistic component, centralising the learners, our learners, all learners, um, at the heart of all that we do. That's good, yep. And we are able to see which students are tracking along nicely and in the red are our priority students. We're able to see where there is movement and progress and if there isn't any progress then we're able to uh, coordinate a co-construction meeting to see what deliberate actions need to be put in place to make sure that those students do achieve. <laughs> The end result for me as a parent is that we're clearly starting to see the mana and the pride rejuvenated within uh, one of the very first schools here in Dotsurua. Uh, we're starting to see students come back. This is starting to become a school of choice for our girls here in Dotsurua. Achievement has increased. Cultural responsiveness has also increased, not only amongst our staff, 
but more importantly uh, for our girls who are attending Girls High.